Today we have a 1 owner 2017 Chevy Equinox LT, all wheel drive, 56,000 miles, clean auto check. Can even give you a look at it. Notice it does have the nice chrome bezeling around the headlights and the high definition lighting, along with your fog slash driver's lights. If you look at the tires and wheels here, you can see it does have the split five spoke alloy wheels. And we got Michelin rubber on there. About three quarter tread on the tires. And they are 17 inch. You will see it does have the roof racks and satellite radio. That's what the antenna up there is for. And on the inside you will see it's black on black interior. It does have some red stitching on the seating to kind of break up some of the black. the back row here we'll see in the back of the center console you have a port there for a 12 volt power source and this does have the airbags on the sides of the seating and this back row of seats I'll sneak in here in front of the camera and show you they do slide which not all these SUVs do that well you have extra room back there if you have a taller person you need to fit back there Tires and wheels there, and like I said, they're matching all the way around. And you will see on the back, like I mentioned before, it is the LT model, all wheel drive. Rear defrost, rear wiper. It does have the backup cam mounted up underneath the bezel here. It does have the power release hatch. And you can see on the inside, you have a pretty big cargo area there. Pull that up. That's where your donut spare tire and your tools, jack, wheel wrench, etc. And this is another thing that's nice about that back row seating. If you need to haul something a little bigger, those seats actually will fold down, or you can even even slide them up so you have more cargo space. jump inside you will notice there on the passenger rear window is the buyer's guide it gives you a little of the information on your warranty and whatnot and you will notice power seating here on the driver's side get in and you'll see power locks windows mirrors on your driver's door and there's your cruise control settings on the steering wheel you have your voice activation and your telephone stereo settings on the steering wheel. You will notice airbag, of course, driver's passenger side airbag. And your controls behind the steering wheel here for your windshield wipers and your rear wipers. And you'll notice down beside the shifter handle here, it does have an economy mode, which will assist your fuel mileage, get you a little, little better fuel economy. And your traction control button. And you'll notice the manual uh, setting here on the transmission. It's an automatic transmission, but it also has a plus and minus button. So you can actually manually shift the gears that way if you prefer. And it's a pretty darn clean vehicle inside. It doesn't have any odors. Interior's not tore up or anything. No smoke smell, anything of the sort. I'll light the console up here a little bit and show you. You see it has what Chevrolet calls my link. It uh, you can link up all your devices and stuff to that. And you can see some of the settings on there, fuel settings. You can even set on there to tell you your weather if you have your XM activated. But 
This doesn't actually have that activated. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the engine here and we're gonna go out under the hood and give you a look at that. As you can see, it's nice and clean under the hood there. Pretty much like the rest of the vehicle. You will notice the engine, it is the 2.4 liter four cylinder. Pretty good engine, uh, but the four cylinder gets a good fuel economy. I mean, you can expect to get around 28 to 30 miles per gallon on the highway and mountain travel and stuff, start to stop town driving. You usually get around 20 miles per gallon or so with that. So the last thing we're going to do here on this video is I'm going to walk around here and point out any blemishes on here that we can find. That way if you see this and you're interested in coming out and taking a look at it, you'll know about them before you get out here. You can see here on the passenger side fender, there's a couple wrinkles right there by the wheel well. Is a pea sized ding here by the rear glass. And down on the corner of this bumper, I think somebody might have scraped into something with the bumper. I mean, some of those marks look like they're on the paint, but they're actually coming up off the floor. It's kind of hard to show you because the paint's so glossy, it's reflecting. There is a couple scrapes here here, here, and here. It's real hard to show you them on here with the white floor bouncing up off, but uh, there are a couple scrapes there. They have been touched up with touch-up paint and sealed over with clear coat, so they won't give you any issues. And there's a scrape on the driver's side rear fender. It's probably eight to 10 inches long, I would say. It has been touched up also and gone over with clear coat and sealed up. There's another little scratch right here. It's probably about three inches long that's been touched up and gone over with clear coat. I was thinking there was one other small wrinkle over here that I didn't see you when I walked by. Like I said, the paint on this thing is super, super glossy, so it's kind of hard to find these. It's actually down here on the bottom of the passenger door. Like I said, it's real hard to show it to you though. But I'll just tell you about it, and then if you see this video, you'll know it's there. There's a wrinkle on the door right about there. It is very hard to see, but like I said, we just like you guys to know what we know. Don't want to try to hide anything from you. So, all in all, real nice, clean vehicle. If you're interested in, in an Equinox, it'd be a good one for you to come out here and take it a test drive if you want. You can always give us a call, 717-485-4224. One of our salespeople will talk to you and fix you up. Or if you choose, you can look us up on the website. It's www.thomasata.com. Thank you for your time.